Hey guys, there's big drama today. Big important drama that we gotta talk about right now. Girl cut off her friend by ghosting her without any reason. Ex-friend responded. Who was in the wrong? This has... Uh, one... <laughs> this has one... <laughs> 500 million views. That really caught me off guard. It seems like uh, these girls aren't like established influencers. They don't have like a massive audience. These are these are just two ex friends. I haven't seen any of this yet. Apparently, this whole thing is about a hoodie. But people are really like engaged in this discussion. Things that this girl that claimed to be a girl's girl has done to. Me. For context, I've never ever in my life had to cut out a person and open up to the people that deserve my time and- This is big drama. This is this girl, you know, we thought that she's a girl's girl, but she had to- that she- Kelly Kim had to cut her off cold turkey. She added him to her close friend story and just started posting the random TMIs on her stories like a- Okay. We'll address this case here bit by bit. But I think adding your friend's boyfriend to a story, I, I think that's legitimate. That's a legitimate action. In many cases, relationships mean that the partner gets added to the friend group by default. Uh, that may include the close friend on Instagram as well, according to the law of the world. ...and just started posting the random TMIs on her stories like a attention trap not even a thirst trap it's like attention trap and what does that what does that mean that's what close friend stories are are for it's for you to like post the thing like i just took a uh shit i'm really sad today and i just took a shit that's sort of what close friend stories are all about and this was before my boyfriend and i started dating but like everyone knew that we were into each other this one kind of goes with the first one she borrowed my boyfriend's hoodie when we we're all over at his house cause... okay this sounds suspicious and then she took the hoodie home which is fine girl like be warm stay warm don't you gotta stay warm you gotta stay warm you gotta take the hoodie back home to stay warm. But she continues to wear that hoodie for the next two weeks. Weird. <laughs> Listen, not not the end of the world. Uh, weird. Hoodies are for girlfriends. That's what life's all about. Girlfriends, boyfriends, whatever you're dating, but... The hoodie, the hoodie is for the partner, you know? You pull out the emergency hoodie, give it to a person, fair enough. But the hoodie must come back. You can steal the hoodie. Uh, but you can't, you can't make a big deal out of it. You can't do it to try to get a guy. And post all about it on social media. That's even, that's weird as well. <laughs> Just wearing that one hoodie <laughs> for two weeks. Like, you have other hoodies. That's clearly part of a ploy. I'm on Kelly Kim's side so far. It's part of a ploy. To randomly show her love for the brand that my boyfriend likes. Never heard this girl brag about how much she likes this brand before. Hilarious. Hilarious so far. This is getting funny. Spending hours getting ready to see him. Calling up my other friend and telling her that she thinks he's cute <laughs> and that she could see herself getting along with him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, she stole my boyfriend's hoodie, wore it for two weeks, and she also said that she wants to date him. And she also said that he's really hot, and and, and I I want to date him for a while and give him a bunch of kisses on his face. Getting him the sandwich that he mentioned he likes, and then volunteering to wake up early so that she can hand the sandwich to him. <laughs> Well, he can take it to work. Oh. <laughs> yeah, this is beginning to feel a little bit suspicious. This has been- Yeah, and like one day I woke up and I checked out her close friend's Instagram and I saw that she was wearing my boyfriend's skin on top of her face. So, I think that something's up. I don't, I don't like seeing when, when someone- when people do this thing. It always really scares me. I, I just feel like they might accidentally, you know, gouged their eyeballs out. So this is gonna be a bit scary for me to watch right now. Honestly, I don't blame you, girl. My boyfriend is cute. Just hope you can find a new man to buy sandwiches for every morning. Yeah, 
shout out to her boyfriend. He's cute. Let's see what the people say. As any good investigation goes, you need to first of all see what the jury has to say about everything. That's how they do it in crime. I knew he was being gaslit when I saw Joanna's video first. POV, you saw Joanna's video first. Okay, so it seems like even though this video was posted earlier, most people saw her video first and then they saw Kelly's video talking about it. Okay, in Joanna's video, she said both girls met him the same night she got the hoodie. In this video, Kelly says it was before they started dating, but crazy idea here. Talk to her. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just so funny seeing like personal friend drama being dished out on TikTok. When I see like influencers doing it, I genuinely think that it's the most embarrassing thing in the world. But for some reason, when it's people who aren't, you know, doing influencer shit as their main kind of job, I actually think that it's a lot more fascinating. We, we get this peek into a life that we would have never known about. I don't f know who Joanna and Kelly Kim are, but now I do. I saw her vid, y'all need to just talk her side, seem not that bad to be honest. No, I don't think that they should talk. I, th I think that this is a lot more... <laughs> I think that this is a lot more fun for me as a commentary YouTuber. Everyone who thinks her friend wasn't being shady, are you okay? Well, <sighs> I'm gonna watch her friend talk now. So this is Joanna's video. It's, it's the bigger one. 454,000 likes. What? <laughs> About this f***ing hoodie <laughs> let me just clear up some misconceptions that people are having online about me so first of all no one no one knew that it's about her the first video didn't even mention her name but we got to clear this out we got to clear the air out a little bit i don't know if you saw the video yet but there is a video about a girl talking about why she ghosted a friend and the reason so so no one no one connected it to you <laughs> <laughs> Gotta clear the air out. <laughs> points that were made in this video, three points that I remember. Close friends, let's start with that. She's saying that I was trying to get at her boyfriend, whatever, because I added her, him on my close friends. Yeah, that's a, that's a bad point. Mm -mm. That's a bad point, close friends, it's fair game. Boyfriends, whatever, close friends are bullshit. Who cares about, who cares? Who cares about any of this, but more specifically about close friends on Instagram? Stupid. First of all, close friends don't mean a lot to me. That's and that's what I was saying. That's what it's stupid. Doesn't matter. It's just a, a thing. It was not only him that I added. It was everyone that I met that night. We met at a club together on my birthday and she whispered to me thinking that there was a guy over there that she thought was cute. As her best friend, I'm gonna play Cupid. I went to him and I was like, hey, my friend thinks you're cute. They so this this adds to the whole girl's girl uh, sort of situation that was that Kelly said that she is, I think. Is that a sentence? The attention traps, I don't know what she was referring to because if- Attention traps is just anything that you'd post on a close friends. I took a shit or I'm sad. That's a that's an attention trap. Anything in a close friends thing could be misguided as an attention trap. I'm disqualifying the whole close friends argument from the get go. Don't even at me. I don't want anyone in this comment section arguing with me about the close friends point. If you care about close friends on Instagram, you are a baby and you are a hater and I want you to back off for my videos. The hoodie. I'm just notorious for not giving back hoodies. Bat, you're notorious for being a thief. I am sorry. I just took longer to give this one back because it was really cute. It's not because it's, it was his hoodie and like I wanted to keep it longer and like I just wanted to feel cozy up in his hoodie. It was literally because it was cute. I think, mm, hoodies aren't that interesting. I'm wearing one now. I actually really like that one. This this one is it's from the Kendrick Lamar tour. If someone, even if even if a girlfriend steals this, I won't be happy about that. This, this one is not allowed. This one's for me and me only. Other hoodies, fair enough, fair game. But I think if you're not dating a guy, stealing his hoodie and then wearing it, putting it on in every Instagram story, that's a bit much. Not necessarily rude to the girl. I think that's actually rude to the guy. It's like you're, you're, you're shoving it in his face. Like, 
you fuck. Here's your hoodie, you fuck. Try to do something about it. I will, I will kill you with a gun. The sandwich is like the most iconic part of this story. Um, most iconic part of the story. We all love the sandwich part of the story. Used to tell it around the campfire when I was a kid, the sandwich part of this stupid f***ing story. You and I both know, babes. That, that sandwich was an expression of my gratitude for mounting my TV. Oh, and I- <laughs> This is all so mundane. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? <laughs> yeah, we were roommates. Um, so they were together. We were us three were together in my room, mounting the TV and like making jokes and making fun. And then like I, I really wanted my TV mounted, and he did it. So I was like, oh my god, like I'm so thankful. Let me show my gratitude in some way other than just being like, thank you. So I picked up a sandwich um, after work at a bakery that's right next to my work. You knew that it's his favorite sandwich. So, must have been paying attention to him in some sort of way. But again, I don't know. I think that, I think that partners becoming part of the friend group is fair game, you know? And if someone's your friend now, that's okay to get him a, a sandwich he likes, you know? Come pick it up before work tomorrow so you can eat it before it spoils. Cause why the fuck would I get you a sandwich and have it spoil, you know? She came to with- To kill him, to kill him, to try and kill him and take his hoodie. I handed her the sandwich. If I really cared about like me getting him the sandwich because it was like for him, I would have wanted to hand it to him, but I didn't care. What? <laughs> this is getting really dumb. <laughs> Sitting here listening about a story, story about a sandwich. I would have done this for anyone else. It doesn't matter that it was him left. I want a sandwich too, then please. I don't necessarily want the one that he had, but if you do it for anyone, I'd like, like a pizza. I'm really, I'm actually pretty hungry right now. It's dinner time. I'm, I'd like, can you order me like a pizza, please? With the other girl together. Ooh, okay. So they were a trio and then Kelly from the last video left and took the other girl with her. So this could either mean, this could either mean that Kelly kind of poisoned the other friend against Joanna, or the other friend knows that Joanna is bad news, and then she left the group alongside with her. And villainized me? So this, yeah, this is theory number one. This is theory number one. And now- Unsubstantiated yet. We don't know yet if that's true. One year later, you come on TikTok to talk about it, is so low and so the first TikTok wasn't big you were just lurking on her TikTok and you found you found out about that because <laughs> this this is the big TikTok. there's no reason for you to connect yourself to that one both of them have around the same amount of followers now both of them have like some like 30 40k which probably they probably only gained that after these went Fucking nu nuclear viral. I'm I'm sick of staying quiet. I'm sick of having to hear from other people. I heard this about you from her. You respected that you had your own perspective on things, but now that I know this is the reason, I'm so glad that you're not in my life anymore. <sighs> this is uh, such a sad story. So sad. Y'all gotta watch Kelly's video before this one. I did, I did that. I did that just now. I'm on Kelly's side. You need to just admit you liked him and lacked some boundaries when they got together. You can't excuse the hoodie thing. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Maybe I'm being gaslit. But I really think that... I don't think that any of this is a big deal. <laughs> Ghosting a friend over a new guy just screams insecure. I don't... I don't... I don't know her. Why would I make an assumption about a human being based off of one TikTok? <laughs> I think this stuff is pretty minuscule, but moving forward, please practice self-awareness and boundaries with your friend's partners. Give him back his hoodie. We're ignoring the real victim over here, this guy who's walking out uh, right now in the winter time in the cold with no hoodie to protect him. You know, they're currently arguing through these TikToks. He's probably out in the snow uh, dying. So this is a TikTok that Joanna deleted. This is this is supposed to be good evidence. Why would I get this? 
crew neck when I can just get a boyfriend and steal all his hoodies. I'm saving a Okay, 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 okay. Important evidence alert. Important evidence alert. This is important evidence. She associates the hoodie with a boyfriend scenario. Boyfriend and hoodies are connected. She wanted to steal the... She wanted to get the boyfriend to steal his hoodie. Saving a hundred dollars. That is a cute hoodie. Who doesn't belong to you, you thief, Joanna? You thief, you. I don't know if you guys know, but there's a whole bunch of tea about this girl who stole this other girl's boyfriend's hoodie, allegedly. And allegedly, she kept it because allegedly, and started- This is an illegal matter. Well, I guess the hoodie thing is. Like, that. Is, that is theft, isn't it? But you don't need to say allegedly. <laughs> But listen, this is not personal, okay? We're gonna be reviewing the hoodie and the hoodie only. Okay, 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 okay. She's a hoodie aficionado. I feel like that's fair. She said that she only took the hoodie because it was super cute. I'm seeing this, if that's the hoodie, if that's the hoodie that we're talking, if that's the hoodie that started this whole thing, then she's definitely after the boyfriend because this is, what is this? Come on, black Nike hoodie. Come on. I have no business in this hoodie drama. So don't come for me. I am just reviewing the hoodie on its own. I respect, I respect her professionalism in this matter. I would say that I do like the waistband. It's not a potato sack waistband. However, that's what I was thinking. It's not a potato sack waist, uh, waistband. Leaves here, they're a little small for my liking. The fact that there's a little tiny gap in there, I just know that the sleeves are not wide enough. This is the so, sleeves are not wide enough. Sleeves are not wide enough, guys. Watch out. The hoodie that she said it was called. I personally hate the hoodie strings, but she did take out the hoodie strings, so I- Did she take them out? If- If this guy- If this guy had his hoodie stolen, and then she even took the strings out, that is un- That's- That's- You can't- You can't forgive a person for doing that. That's a crime. Vandalize this hoodie. If it was his choice, if he took them out, fair enough. You can't do that to a hoodie you borrow, though. But even if you do remove the strings, you still get those little grommet rivet thingies, and I just think they're ugly, unless they're vintage. Cuffs are way too tight. It's giving Lego. The hood is- It's, it's giving Lego. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't think it's hoodieing, and I don't think it's cute enough to, like, hold on to for two weeks. Like <sighs> you know what? I agree. You know, at the moment, I have two voices in my head. One is this hoodie is not good enough to steal it for its own value. Which sides me with Kelly, you know? It sides me with Kelly, essentially. The other voice in my head is, this is, what the, what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I, what am I, what, what am I doing? Most people are normal. Most people are just normal people. I shouldn't make assumptions about other people based on a hoodie related related situation please let me know in the comments who do you think is right are you team joanna do you think that kelly is just um uh, mean rude or are you team kelly um i d i don't care like and subscribe to make sure the boyfriend is not gonna be cold